Hello and welcome! My name's Spec, or Spencer if you like, and today Eric is going to be taking me and you through a game that I absolutely adore. I put a ton of time into this, and a lot of people don't have the highest opinion of this game, and I wanted to see if I was crazy, so I got my friend Eric to sit down and play for a few hours with me by his side. Here's what happened. Enjoy! We're going to Bleak Island? Yeah, we're going to Bleak Island. That's really where you want to start. New story or continue? Continue, definitely, okay. yeah. How come you're number two? Ugh. Of my friends. Captain Monkey Fist. So that those are my friends, and Captain Monkey Fist has done a lot more way, of them. Way better than you. Almost twice as good, Batman, Arkham. What the hell are we even playing? <laughs> this is... Welcome to Batman Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight. The final... K-N-I-G-H-T? Yes. Not N-I. Yeah, as okay. in dark. Uh, and it what? was the f Dark Knight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's the final game of the Arkham trilogy developed by Rocksteady, uh, which were Not Batman, Bebop, Batman games. Oh. Will you will you turn your joystick without turning yeah, turn look look at look at Batman. Look at Michael Keaton. You got, <laughs> you got Michael Keaton, Batman. I That's forgot, who you defaulted I, to? I forgot to change what? it. And if you look over behind you, in front of you, you'll notice the fabulous, the best Batmobile of all time. Look at this thing. It's all right. I mean, it's fine. No, don't. Why'd you hit oh, that button? Shit. <laughs> there he goes. I guess we should clarify you've never played a Batman game before in your life. Yes. Stop. I'm going to have to teach you how to fight really fast. Hit. When the thing comes up, hit Y. When those blue thing comes up, hit Y. Any Anytime else, hit X. Hit. <laughs> And then this guy's going to hit you. You're oh, not going to be able shit. to do anything because oh, I can't. Okay. I need to tell you how to do this. Okay. Yes. Okay, you're doing it. You did it. I got him. Whew. Don't worry. Don't worry. I figured okay. it out. Okay, we need a sec. I am the Batman. We need a sec. You're Michael Keaton right now. Oh, my hell. Why Michael Keaton? Hit the trigger button to go and the Y button to boost, which is my favorite thing in the world because fire comes. It's just like the movie. Oh, shit. Yes. All right. That's pretty badass. It is. That's it's awesome, great. right? Okay, there's so much going on, and if you hit people, you won't run them over and kill them because Batman doesn't kill people, but you will shock them. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just get used to driving, it's fine. It's fantastically stuck. It's pretty, pretty <laughs> good. How did you do this? Is X not. Okay, there, there you go. go. I'm Batman. You I are do Batman. whatever the hell I want. If you. Oh, God, that's so cool. I never get tired of that. That sound is the best. It's really good. Okay, if you want to get out of the car. I just thought I was letting go of it. There you go. And oh, hold, hold an A. Hold an A. Hold an A. Except not the trigger. Not the trigger. Just A. Just A. <laughs> okay. 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 Now do that again, but correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the LB button to call the Batmobile to you and automatically jump in. And automatically jump in? Yep. Dude. Okay, go. How cool is that? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Yes. That is awesome. And above you, you'll see the floats from uh, the Tim Burton Batman inspired by... Hold an A. Okay, now just steer. Now just steer and quietly, calmly. Don't go to the island because that's going to start a side mission that I'm not ready for yet. You can uh, hold the trigger down for a little bit and then when, like, hold it down all the way and then let go and pull up on the joystick and you'll like you'll start gliding upwards. You can also at any time that that red RB uh, insignia at the top of the screen lights up, you can hit RB. Now hit A a bunch of times. Sorry, I should have explained that better. Run, run, run. Run better. What is the run button? <laughs> Hit. Okay, when people start shooting at you, you can get away really fast by hitting Y. It'll drop a smoke pellet and you can get away. These guys want to kill you. So you're back in a combat situation. I, I still haven't this. had a moment to explain the game. So the way the combat system in this game works is very um, free flow. And it actually pioneered a lot of the combat systems you see in modern gaming, like uh, Assassin's Creed and things like that. They all use similar styles. With, yes, when when that guy when the red guy comes for you, you can double tap A and dodge over him. You can also. I did that. You did it. Yeah, you did it all by yourself. Let's get the hell out of dodge. Okay. How pretty is that car? I love that car. It's a, it's a great car. I don't know if it's just because we were born at the right time or or what, or if it's actually a legitimately good. You're not gonna go through that. What the hell? Don't tell me what I can't do. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> That's so Holy cool. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. What the, did you hit the button? Or did I, you just fall out of your car? I'm not sure. 
People say that the worst part of this game is the Batmobile stuff. Really? Yes. I'd beg to differ. Oh, yeah! I made that. That was great. Well, I don't know wow, what wow, the wow, hell people wow. are talking about. This is quite fun. <laughs> Although I am just playing Grand Theft Auto Batman Edition. Yeah, you really are. So. Grand Theft Auto Gotham City. You can, you can. I've never been able to figure it out, but apparently in midair you can like jostle the Batmobile around so you can land on the tires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that. See, I did it. Oh, you did. You did it gloriously. Yeah, look at those muddy tires. I freaking love it. The attention to the detail in the Arkham series is insane. This is amazing. Do you think Batman does this? <laughs> I would. Just for How fun? can you own the Batmobile so and not do this? Can you, like, push the boost while you're doing this? I'd have to hold... <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's pretty good. That was great. <laughs> now you're getting it. There you go. I like it. I yeah. like it. Traversal in this game is probably the best thing. Um, a lot of people, well, some people criticize it for going open world, whereas Arkham Asylum was more um, linear. It was it was less of a open playground and more of, um, there, there were parts where you could explore and stuff, but it was a linear story. Uh, there weren't side quests or anything. Uh, and this one, by the end of the trilogy, it had really opened up into a full-fledged open world game, and I would argue probably one of the better ones uh so you'll notice that this batmobile is very different yes wow yeah and this is the one made specifically for this game I, um if you hold in uh the left trigger you will go into whoops Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> you can beat up that guy if you want just hit x and start wailing on him <laughs> <laughs> and, and there he goes <laughs> Batman is good at what he does. It is. Yeah, yeah, he is. Okay, so if you hold in the left trigger. Hold in the left trigger. Yep. Okay, now you're in tank mode. There you go. Oh, you got it. You got it. Yeah, out of the sky. That is satisfying. It's super good, right? Wow, that's satisfying. Okay, so these are all of the side quests that you can do. And once you select one, it'll put on your tracker. But the cool thing is you could also just stumble upon them freely in the open world. You don't have to have them tracked in order to do them. And um, and you can, and, and it'll just like, you'll just ease into the quest and it'll automatically start the story dialogue and stuff. If, and you can start interacting with them. These All of these quests and things are just out there in the world for you to find. Um, yeah, so if you want to capture the penguin, the, those are, the penguin missions are a combo with Nightwing and it's a lot of combat. Um, the fire one is a lot of Batmobile chases. Um, the That one is just uh, going around and killing people in different ways. That one's pretty fun. Do you, you do that one? You track down a giant flying bat creature. Looks like it. Uh, that one is you, you stop bank robberies that Two-Face's gang are trying. This one you rescue firemen that have been taken hostage. That one you destroy giant vehicles that are all over the city. Um, and this one you're training Asriel to replace you as Batman in the future. What should we do? So, what happens if you hit your detective vision? Uh, hit up on the D-pad. And look around. Right there. Right there. There he is. All right. Let's track him down. Yeah. So, how this mission works is you got to just tackle him in midair. What? Yeah. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. He's faster than I am. Jesus, what happened? Nothing. Nothing at first. There you go. Uh, I, uh, you got him. You got him. Got him. Yes. Got you, you effing bat. <laughs> what the hell is this I thing? know, right? I'm not really supposed to be doing anything, am I? No, 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 you're good, you're good. Now Did you I get plant a tracker on him or something? You took its blood. Alfred, run analysis on the blood sample I just uploaded. You're gonna beg me to kill you. So see, you've completed one phase of the side quest, so you get an upgrade point. You get you, so you earn these things as you go, and you unlock new abilities and all kinds of stuff. 
Okay, that's a lot of combat. You got this. Easy. Oh, you're already cocky as Batman, huh? I believe it's called the free flow combat system. And by dodging and ducking or er, and uh, countering, that's what the blue bar is. And hitting the the combo buttons when they come up, you can like, you can get combos insanely high. It's awesome. Or you can get smacked around. That's fine. <laughs> I cannot hit these <laughs> combos to save my life. All right, so where am I headed? You're headed to the laboratory of Kirk Langstrom, who the who the blood matches. I believe. Um, there's nothing on my. Oh, detective. On your what? Uh, map here, right? No, you got. Can you see the things on the ground? The chevrons. Oh yeah. They are leading you the way. You passed it. Turn there. What were you saying? It's kind of amazing how. You got there. You're in that alley. You can just get out. This is where I'm headed. Yep. Kind of amazing how. It's just kind of amazing how they can mm -hmm. keep the world open like that and to where, like, oh, yeah, this is a building that you can crash through at uh -huh. any time. Yep, and keep all that straight and then have interiors like this that are totally separate environments. They, Yeah, they're very – Rocksteady is incredibly talented, and they've learned a lot since um, Arkham Asylum. One thing that does take a little bit of getting used to, at least as far as for me – is the camera angle of looking over Batman. Yeah, you were saying about shoulder. that when we were playing. Oh, the video up there. That'll tell you what's going on. I just have a feeling this is going to turn out well. I Yeah, like something about dude, it, right? This dude is definitely... This sweet little couple. He's onto something. Yep. He's a smart guy. Things seem to be working well. The fact that you're standing in the same room as is being recorded right now. So what do you think happened? <laughs> okay, you can look around now. So the cool, I, I freaking love uh, this narrative device where they show you the pre the, the prologue. They, show, they don't show you the event, but you can hear it. And then you stop looking at um, the TV screen and look around and you put it together for yourself. And it's like, it's just, it was way more impactful for me seeing the aftermath through the through Batman's eyes than the camera blunt trauma to the head Langstrom had no idea what he was doing and then now I'm in detective mode before yes. you know I'm in Batman mode uh -huh. you have the bad guys running around the city and that was one of the reasons that I wanted you to do this side quest is cuz it really demonstrates like the balance of the two I think there's a computer maybe it contains <laughs> This computer stores ba all of Batman also went to college. He's really good he at finding computer. computers. There was a computer when he sees one. Oh, is this it? <laughs> sorry, you are playing a game right now, a mini game. <laughs> <laughs> I should have told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You're rotating the sequence to try to get that number to go up to 100%. Okay, rotate L and R. Yeah, so R controls the right one and L controls the left one, wouldn't you know it? That's it. There you go. Got it. Clean DNA sample. Now all I need to do is make him take his medicine. Oh, nice, Doctor Batman. The spoonful of ass kicking. <laughs> I've synthesized a cure in Langstrom's lab. Now I just need to find him. How do you think the bat got out of here? Oh, didn't you see? There was a giant hole in the wall that led up to the surface. No, no, I didn't see that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Is you can put the crime, you can kind of put what happened together just by looking around the room. It's crazy. Oh, so you have to look around the room. Yes, you have to actually and look and, and and detect. What's all this shit I'm listening to? Just random bad guys? Yeah, random bad guys chattering. So the, the, the premise of the game, and I can't believe it's taken us 45 minutes to get into this, um, <laughs> is that it's Halloween, and Scarecrow has basically put in a bomb threat and said, I'm going to fear gas the entire city. And so the city has been evacuated, and all that are left are the criminals running around, and the, the GCPD is there trying to round up people, and you as Batman are trying to um, uh, put an end to all the villains and uh, crime going on tonight. You can see there's the LexCorp Tower building right there, the the Easter egg or the kind of linkage between um, Batman and Superman. There's a couple other cool little things throughout, but the LexCorp building is one of the most obvious. Gotcha. There he is. You got him, man. That was awesome. Now you just got to get close enough. There he is. 
Get him. Yes! Oh, that was Got beautiful. You. That was oh, that was beautiful. Holy crap. Yes. That's how you Batman right there. That is exactly how you Batman, my friend. Clearly, he's not a doctor vampire bat cuz this is the exact same thing I did last time. Yes, but instead of injecting getting something out of him, you put something in him. I need to track him down and inject him again. You got another one. Okay, so I think because he was on this island, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm pressing tr <laughs> right trigger instead of right bump. Oh, okay. I think because he was on this island before and he was on the other island when you first encounter him, he's probably on the third island this time. So That's a good guess. Ooh. Uh, you just fell into a side <laughs> quest there for a sec. Ooh. That was close. Oh, shit. There he is. I heard him. Where the fork? Oh, I definitely heard him. Me and Dad came to Gotham when I was like 15. Where are you? Is that him? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> he's probably out there watching us right now. There he is. I see him. He's he's way off in the right on the right. You got him this time. <laughs> yes. Gotcha. I don't know if there's a quick time event this time or not. Nope. It was just the cat and mouse game. And this is going to this is actually going to demonstrate another thing that I think is cool about this game. Batman. You have to bring in the villains you capture. Oh, cool. It, yeah. It, it's better when it's uh, one of the ones that can talk, because you actually get some conversation stuff going on with them. Um, but you actually have to roam around Gotham picking up villains and putting them in jail, which I think is very cool. That is pretty awesome. You get the real experience of what Batman uh -huh. goes through. Yeah, you really do. Like, uh, the, the, the Arkham games do really well putting you in the shoes of Batman, but I think Arkham Knight is the one that makes you feel the most like Batman because you not only do, like you're not only in his shoes, but you're doing his like routine. Like you're bringing <laughs> them in, you know they're gonna break out again, but you're bringing them all in. Even though you know it's fruitless. Yeah, so park on the thing and then, yeah, there you go. The bat parking space. The bat parking less, space. Less known Yeah. as the <laughs> bat signal. Reserved for Batman. Yep. It was from the same era that he got his MasterCard. <laughs> Or was it Discover? Oh, he turned human. Yeah, he turned back. The antidote worked. And he's naked. And he is naked. That's, that's a little weird. Yeah. You gonna be okay? Physically, yes. Uh, where's Francine? Where, where is she? She's dead. Batman does have really good bedside manner. Yeah. I mean, it could use a little work. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't move. Well, maybe, He's monotone. Maybe just pick up the book. Patients are people, too. Yep, yeah. I gotta kill him. You, you gotta, gotta kill him. Uh, Batman's uh, no kill roll. Uh, it physically prevents him from hitting anybody that's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to do it, but his morals hold him back. Yeah. Physically. Like, this guy needs to... You can talk to him. Oh, I don't want to do that, but honestly, <laughs> like, send in your resume to the freaking Queen's Guard. Or what do they call the, the the people in England with the big furry hats? Uh-huh, yep. The people, that's the what Queens they call Guard. them. Yeah. <laughs> the people in England with the big furry hats. Doesn't phase this guy. Mm -mm, Batman comes up and shadow boxes <laughs> around you, and you don't even <laughs> flinch an eye. Okay. Where, where are we going? How do we get out of here? Oh, yeah, and Riddler has a bunch of crap going on, too, <laughs> in this game. And you have to solve all of it to uh, unlock the true ending, like I said. And you get to hand him into the GCPD, and it's one of the most satisfying things I've ever done in a video game. Because, holy crap, some of those riddles are hard. <laughs> and there are, like, 200 of them. 
two hundred. Yeah. Hang on, um, do me a favor. Go back. I would love to. Did you see that guy that's in green? Yes. When what? that happens, that means that's a that's a Riddler informant, and he's a bad guy. Hit X. Hit uh, hit Y. Y is the interrogate button. You're working for Riddler. What? You're crazy. Batman's gone crazy, guy. You can't throw me in here. I'm a cop. Not anymore. There you go. Batman just doing wow. his Batman thing. All that just based <laughs> off of this guy looked green. Yeah, that guy looked green. That's where I parked this. That's where you parked it. Man, I've been looking for this thing everywhere. It blends right in. Yeah. Jeez. Um, do you want to do a Batmobile mission that uh, will show you why everybody hates the Batmobile? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let's focus on the bad things about a game. Okay, there you go. So get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah, what that was. I know. I, <laughs> and I know go into tank do. mode. Once you're in tank mode, target that thing and hit the RB button. And that will fire the winch. And then uh, hit A to start the virus upload. So you're going to try to disable the bomb. But in order to do that, you've got to protect the bomb. So hit, yes. Okay. So uh, those lines that turn blue, when they turn red, they're going to hit your car. And you need to move out of the way of them. If you double tap A, you should be able to um, move your car in any direction. And... Yep, and then you just shoot them with your cannon. Shoot the tanks with your cannon. Oh, I want to shoot them. Yes, all of them. Yep, just like that. Just like that. Okay, now hit Y and hold it in. You're going to hijack this tank. Um, but you have to hold it in longer than that. Until it, until it turns green. Okay, now it's going to work for you. Oh, that was a nice dodge. Just tap X a bunch of times. Uh, you don't actually need that. You finished. But you hit stuff anyway. But I gotcha. Okay, now you gotta wait. Go back to the bomb. And then wench it again. And then you got to do the rev thing. Boom! You did it. Did it? That was awful. I'd be I'd be fine to do that again, and I wouldn't say that that is a negative feature. Yeah. No, I, mean, I agree. Yeah, maybe if I did that three or four or five more times, I'd be like, okay, yeah, this is done. But mm -hmm. driving around the Batmobile, sure, it's great. Yeah. Anything else you want to highlight? Anything? I mean, the other big thing is the Riddler. Oh, We're maybe. This is this is the other thing that uh, people hate the Batmobile for. We're going to go try it out. And it kind of touches on the Riddler gameplay, which is really interesting. So we didn't do any puzzles, any solving of riddles, which is fine. Um, Probably a good thing with my gameplay here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Riddler kidnapped Catwoman and strapped a bomb to her neck. And said, Batman, you have to do my stuff, or else. Not as good as Jim Carrey. Not as good as Jim Carrey. Nothing is. Well then, detective, it begins. Come now, detective. Let's put that grotesque ego mobile to the test. Okay. So now you're going to have to, yep. Just like that. Oh, oh you, can, you can hit B to manually do it. And you exploded the Batmobile. Well, that's impressive. Yeah, it's really good. So you can hit B to manually open those doors. You can also drive on the walls when it's circular like that. Shit, don't do that. Yeah, you're 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 no, 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 don't do that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you'll make it. No! <laughs> don't hit that button. Wait. <laughs> that was you? Yeah, no, no. Definitely wasn't me. Uh, dragon. Go, go, jeez, I thought there was some preamble. Nope, it's just go. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh, yeah. Do okay, that was nice. Every lap gets a little bit more tough, so you'll have to watch out for more things you can use the button on. I'm disabling the afterburner 
this fail safe. I need the extra. Other way, other way, other way. Okay. 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 Now you should be able to use the turbo a little bit more than before. Hit it! No, don't! Oh, you're good, you're good. You, oh, man, you barely made that! Oh, boy. Garrett <laughs> <laughs> Spitzer! You really are! Garrett Spitzer! You, it did this good! <laughs> Again! Oh, being your co-pilot in this is so <laughs> gut-wrenching. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Oh, yes! Oh, you did it! Did it! <laughs> okay, now the second part. I'm going to do something fun. So the whole goal is... <laughs> you can get out of the Batmobile. So your goal is to uh, get the keys so that uh, Catwoman's... Oh my god, we've turned on the 90s skin! What? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's not what she actually looks like in the real game. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. So she's got a bomb collar on, and if you choose the wrong key, she'll explode. You didn't do anything, did you? Nope. <laughs> Nothing. She's gonna die. She's gonna die! Well, they're not going to reopen the orphanage anytime soon. So, so that's what you're not supposed to do. Yeah, that's the example. I'm I glad just, that you showed us what yeah, not to do. That's really what I'm doing here. Let's see if you're as smart Wait, as they say. are you sure about this? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. That was a good guess. No guess. I go back and forth like three times. No guess, man. Her hair is so big. That's it. That's the trial. Like I saw that one. Yes. And well, you have to go back to the orphanage, and then you'll get a cool combat thing with Catwoman and Batman, where they, where you play as both at once, kind of. You switch back and forth. Uh, but we don't have to show that. So, what is this thing saying? You can get more points and earn more stuff oh, if dude. you do it again. Captain Monkey Fist, I did in 41.15. Yeah, I Cap did it in 42. Yeah, Captain Monkey Fist. Oh, wow. Yeah, you almost beat him. Almost beat him. He's beaten me at pretty much everything. Do you want to beat him at this? I personally don't, but if you think you can nab it. Yep, good. Oh, oh! Got this. Oh, boy. Eat that, Captain Monkey Fist! Oh, by a whole two seconds, yes! Easy. Oh, man. First try. First, <laughs> First try. Oh. Four. What are you doing? What? Holy what shit! Bats don't swim. We made 41,000th place. But you're talking milliseconds, man. Look at that. Look all, at how many people are. Yeah. They're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. Zero seconds. Oh, that's insane. Who's the main bad guy? The Arkham Knight, who is an original character that Rocksteady created specifically for this. This uh, game. Arkham Knight is not in the comic books. For yes. this game or this game series? This game. Um, but really, it's sort of the rogues gallery in Arkham Knight because you're also after the Riddler, um, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, like everybody. Uh, Mr. Freeze is in the DLC. Killer Croc is in the DLC. Like, this was their final hurrah, farewell Batman send off. Uh, last Arkham game that they, or last Batman game that Rocksteady might ever make. I really hope that that's not true, but you can kind of tell it just by playing it. Like, Batman is older, um, and he's, he's very, like, 
all about finding a replacement for himself and um, everything feels very final. Uh, all the characters are in, you get to play with uh, Batman and Catwoman and Batman and Nightwing and like Batman and Robin for a little bit. You can tag team between them and do these cool combo fights. Like they, they tried to give everybody their fair due in this game and they did an awesome, awesome job doing it, I think. And I don't understand. That was awesome. I don't understand why it gets as much hate as it does. I think it's a wonderful game. And it's it, a it, very long one and beautiful and full of content. Like the races and challenge rooms and things like that. There's just so much to do in this game. And it is a wonderful send-off to the series. Uh, and a, a good evolution of the things that came before it. I'm, Yeah, it will forever be one of my favorite games, I think, of all time. I heard initially that people didn't like this. Was it because... Uh, did they release some patches or something for so it? So the uh, initial release for PC uh, was just terrible. Like, it did not run well at all, and it wasn't well optimized. They actually, it was one of the f very few cases where they released a AAA game on Steam, and then a few days later erased it off of Steam, so you could not buy it anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was one of the initial purchasers, and yeah, it wasn't great. For sure, it was not great. Um, it was playable for me, and a lot of people had varying levels of, of playability, but it did stutter. Like, it would just freeze for a second and then unfreeze. Um, usually only when you were driving the Batmobile in the city, because it has to render a lot uh, very fast, very quick. So it took them about six months to six to nine months to oh, really get their act together. Really? Uh, wow, might, maybe even closer to a year before the final patch was released. Um, That's quite a bit of time. Yeah, it was a ton of time. They did not. The ports were not well optimized, and WB um, is just does, just doesn't make good PC games. Uh, f eventually, they do, but uh, not not on release. So a lot of people got mad about the Arkham Knight, and I think that is very much to its detriment, and probably one of the reasons why it got the backlash it did. Yes. I think so. But I am such a huge fan of the Arkham series. Like, it, it brought the Batman of my childhood to life. And, like, so I gave it a chance and I stuck with it. And, like, the end result, this, what you're playing now, is, like I said, one of the one of my favorite games that I've ever played. True. But also, look, there is not one pillar holding up this cliff face. <laughs> but it is still standing somehow. <laughs> That's a fair point. I mean, look at this. That is magic. <laughs> it you is. Cannot tell. Hey. No, you missed one. You missed two. No, this is magic. They brought him back. <laughs> How do you think Gotham survives so many supervillain attacks? <laughs> it's magic. So what did you think, Eric? Uh, having never played an Arkham game before, what did you think of Batman Arkham Knight? The couple hours that we played. Uh, I really enjoyed it, actually. <laughs> um, I did kind of play it more like Grand Theft Auto than Batman. Well, that's okay, though. But uh, yeah, no, it was it was really fun. Um, you know, I enjoyed the open worldness, mm -hmm. and it seems like that's kind of a newer feature, at least the yeah. size. Yeah, Arkham City definitely touches on it, but it is not nearly as big as this is. Mm -hmm. And and Arkham Asylum, the one that everybody praises as the absolute best one, is is not that really. There's a couple open world spots, but I wouldn't call them open world. They're just open, like you can fly around and and stuff. Mm -hmm. So nothing like this. And that's kind of, you know, how video games are gearing, obviously, at this point when mm -hmm. this is coming out. Uh, but that was quite fun. I enjoyed driving around on the Batmobile. That <laughs> it's was great, right? the most fun I had. Um, <laughs> obviously, I don't have enough time to get into the story. So it's it's mm -hmm. more just quick, you know, have some fun and do it. But that was that was quite fun. Uh, learning how to fly, basically. Yeah, the traversal aspect. Yeah. I think they nailed it uh, yeah. in this one. Uh, and making it dynamic you know it's not necessarily just the same thing over and over or it's not just floating forever mm -hmm. that you can actually you have actually some have some control it. and like you can do a couple different things yeah um and yeah. also like it's used within quests it's not just uh how to get from point a to point b mm -hmm. so that was really cool yep um stunning visuals i mean look at this as you can see right yeah. here look at the rain dropping on the ground that looks so good yeah oh i love it nailed the feel of batman i think mm -hmm. like, like just dark gritty grim yeah this gotham city is exactly what i picture when i picture gotham city yep uh really enjoyed that and honestly i really think if i got into it the story would be pretty oh yeah pretty i good. like the way the reason that this works so well is they treat their characters like real people acting uh logically i guess mm -hmm. 
uh, while being in a universe where fear gas gives you hallucinations that uh, show your deepest, darkest fears. Like it's just this really crazy combination um, slammed together. And I just think it, it works really well. And the care, the, the, this story does things with, um, they do things with the characters that I didn't think I'd ever see. And it's great, especially building up and getting to know them over the series of three or four games, depending on how many you play. Yeah, and I think that speaks a lot to the development company that mm-hmm. they can make you feel like, you know, Poison Ivy is a real person. Yeah, and has yeah, real yeah. motivations. Uh-huh. That's like, exactly what I mean. That's kind of a little miraculous <laughs> when you're playing it, and like that's a that makes sense to me. Like I I would do that, or that person would make that decision. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's it's pretty amazing. So, um, yeah, man, now. Thanks for getting me into this because I have no way to play this and now I really want to. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> I'm glad that I could join you for this. Also, did you see that the Batmobile like slide as you were exiting it? It was freaking cool. So here's my argument though. This is what I think about Robin. Robin, I think is better than Batman. Really? Yeah. Why is Robin better than Batman? Wait, and which Robin? There are four of them. Okay, but just 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 bear with me for a little bit. Batman, he's good at what he does, right? Yeah. Robin's good at what he does. But Robin's doing it in fudging canary yellow. Like, you could spot him from space. <laughs> but no, he's getting about as much done as Batman. He can't hide in the shadows yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. Like, Batman, sure. Batman can sneak up on you. No problem. But if you... If Robin sneaks up on you, you yeah, you're a bad criminal, exactly. or he's very, very good. <laughs> Look at Robin. Come on, I know. Man. I mean, that Look dude at those shorts. is not hiding anywhere. <laughs> he has a neon yellow cape. Oh, it's the best. Yep, it's the best. If this <laughs> if is this? the dude that you get beat up by. <laughs> <laughs> it just is embarrassing. Look it at those is. shoes. Look at those <laughs> shoes. He can fly with those shoes. Yeah. <laughs> They're oh literally wingtipped. <laughs>